Ah, 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 ah. Hi, it's me, boys. Hi, nice to see you. Hi, I'm a VTuber. Yeah, you know, those things that actually are not uh, animal girls. We are people. We are animal girls, people. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you know, I'm not quite an authority in Final Fantasy, so, you know, when I heard this exist, this exists. And I was like, oh, this doesn't exist. <laughs> Would it be fun to actually, you know, hmm, react to this? It's quite the authority of Final Fantasy. To be honest, I'm a fucking encyclopedia of Final Fantasy, so I am not going to say no to this. How can I say no to this? Um, like Hamilton, <laughs> and you know. When someone says Final Fantasy fifteen, it's something I say. Oh yeah, my skin is itching. For someone to actually tell the truth. There are spoilers in the video. Spinal Stagnancy 15 is one of the most unintentionally funny games ever made, <laughs> and I don't award that distinction lightly. It's um, it's trying its best. In this game, yeah. you play as John Fantasy, an intrepid prince of insomnia, accompanied by the BTS. John Fantasy. They travel across <laughs> Korea in their bid to dodge the oh, no. draft and re-establish the Joseon dynasty with Jungkook as their one. Oh. King. If you can think of it, 15 has it. Do you want to conscript God to kill endangered animals entering? Yeah. Mode to kill a sea snake, compress a mountain sized turtle into a black hole, and break the entire game's leveling system because of lasagna. Yeah, oh, yeah, possible. is it a good game? Well, uh, that's debatable. The original director wanted to make the game a musical, but you know, thank god they added the hyper realistic pizza, it just wouldn't be oh. the same. This game is one of the most baffling design disasters that I've ever seen, and showing it to you in its full absurd glory is a service to my country with hurricane oh. shifts, batshit story, and utterly incompetent. Comprehensible combat. There is no yes. part of this game that didn't surprise me, although I don't think they intended that. So come along as we dive head first into the boy uh. madness and recall the finest game of 2016. If you know what oh. you this game is fucking so long. Oh my god. The story begins with the king of Korea, whose name is King King Light Heaven. The 113 <laughs> 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 their dynasty is only 2,000 years old, meaning for him to be there, every single male king must have fucked at 17. Max oh. is busy disowning his son and our protagonist. Night Light Heaven in hopes that he will get some blonde bitch pussy. Noctis. Oh. I, uh, I, uh, I have erectile dysfunction. It's here that we <laughs> to our buddies, the BTS boys, and all of their unique mechanics. Quicksilver is a light Slovenian fanboy who exclusively yeah. fights through small arms fire. Fire Knowledge is a smart calculating uh. man who shakes you with rusty knives. And Sword Friendship is a burly robot. Sword Friendship. Oh my god, no. Chunks of metal with our friends assembled in our car out of gas. Yeah. It's time to begin the game in earnest. Now, it's surprising me that they actually struggled Just to like this, yeah. Not this can deflect punches from a fucking giant. This sets in motion a series of quirky adventures Lips. to satiate the bloodlust of Park G Min. Oh. It's time to talk about that combat, or better known as a 19th century safari. Take that, it sees oh. the lion. When it works, you're dashing between enemies, oh. performing midair backflips, and teleporting around fast enough to burn my graphics card. Oh. For the other half, though, it's imbalanced as fuck. Let's go on a quest to explore a level 20 cave. In order to get there, you'll have okay. to the street, take the path, and fight the mandatory level 54 Giga Snake. Endgame bosses are level yeah. 53. I'm not even 10 hours in. Fortunately, you could yeah. run right past it and straight into the instant kill crabs. I'm convinced they put this here by accident. There is no <laughs> reasonable explanation. So how do it's we not even Namura's like fault. Noctis has four slots to use four weapons of various move sets, including swords, bigger swords, swords, resident, Sword. Pipeline, press chain, rock on a stick, gun, and magic. <laughs> is pretty cool, but. Uh, bullets work a little faster. Each enemy reacts yeah. differently to each weapon, forcing you to switch up your playstyle, or alternatively, just hold down the sword button and watch the game play itself. I can just oh. feel the variety. But by far, the best weapon in your arsenal is the point warp, which allows you to travel arbitrary distances at yeah. will. Oh, buddy, hang on. I see a pixel like five miles away. The primary contributor no. to the game actually being fun is point warp, even when I use it to cheese the game. Not to mention, the animation budget is absurd. Every time you hit someone's back, every single time you parry a boss, yeah. For every boss, there is a unique animation. You can really feel the animator sweat as he nears the end of his no. Japanese workday at the Square Enix Insane Asylum, leaving <laughs> to stab a dog, a mid-air sword fight, and a triple backflip to dunk a Yeah, car. why? It's and, and it's really janky. A common theme for Final Fantasy 15 is that it's fun when it works, but it doesn't it's fun when it works. Work. So before our <laughs> thrilling performance in a fucking dongduchan, I'm losing. It's fun when it works, but it doesn't work here.
That's that's the important part. In my mind, it's important that we go over the rest of our what thrilling the career fuck? Lore. to answer such questions as why has our dad sent us to Nevada? Why? Yeah. Is why won't a virtual YouTuber Sudamaki Watami collaborate with me? <laughs> There you are rich. Fish gods or some shit, and they made humans for fun. A big mistake. These include Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the Wizard, the yeah, Snake, the Unsafe for YouTube, Unlimited Blade Works, and the God of Breakdancing. The Tangled yes. in particular was if very it. helpful and told us how to turn on our stove. From this, the beautiful and powerful civilization of Solheim had risen to try and kill the gods immediately, presumably oh. with enough nukes to make Belka look like Clown College. And this, of course, forces the dancing deity to strike them down, creating demons and nice. alternative political philosophies this pisses Ugh. everyone off and begins the first korean war forcing the gods to give the kings yeah. of Lucis some cool swag and the k-pop crystal forever dividing humanity and preventing the manifestation of white people juche so after the Oof. defeat of the samba scourge the gods took a nap for like several <laughs> thousand years leaving yes. the maintenance of earth to the kings of Lucis, apparently seeing no problem with this so anyways the yeah. new empire just takes over the entire planet using an army of juche demon terminators their new goal yeah. is to kill all of the gods again except this time while they're sleeping and by the time our game begins the kingdom of Lucis has yeah I'm ready to almost one city I guess the God's blessing is just shit now what do you think happens the literal instant that you leave the city for an arranged marriage with the Empire do 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 do. Best, the film is amazing the movie is amazing the game is a shit but the movie is amazing I, mean, I guess the plot has to happen so he's late oh <laughs> this emotional and life-changing moment affects our protagonist greatly. Everything he's ever known has been destroyed, and nothing will ever be the same again. Hey, knock this. You want to yeah. go ride some boids? Oh, oh, it's almost enough yeah. to make forget about your dead family. With our lives <laughs> permanently destroyed, it's time for Noctis to begin the true trials of a king. The first step of which is to find all of the tombs of previous kings, spread yeah. throughout the world, and steal their shit, so we can enter Super Saiyan mode. Thanks. Yeah. That, huh? Your ashes were delicious. This is when the oh. problems begin, and they don't end. Director Tetsuya Nomura was, to put it lightly, a fucking bad shit. Again, he tried to make the game a musical because he watched Les Miserables once. There is no oh. escaping the ghost of cut content. It has so many unique and amazing locations that you see one time. Uh, it's as if the yeah. game has too much money, but the budget had to be prioritized by fucking Cleverbot. This took 10 yeah. years and two engines to make. When you play the main quest, it introduces some new characters in elaborate cutscenes and then kills them. Yeah. You would think the open world would be some relief from this, but no, the car uh. is on rails. They didn't even program driving. What, what does that remind you of? Speaking of things that the developers <laughs> forgot to do, side quests. There's a, a few of them, but out of the uh, 206 possible activities, there were only two that were good. How can this be? Well, the best way to describe why oh, is to engage in one, and I think this market looks like a great place to start. Hey, what's up, uh, king of the planet? So I was driving my car, and okay. I just so happened to kill my wife All by right. crashing into a tree at okay. miles per hour. Sounds good. I need you to go find my mango. You're fucking what? I left them in the truck after killing my wife in a car crash. I don't think your problem is mangoes. Can you find my mangoes? All right. We'll just what go the find the mangoes. Wow, look at these bees. Thank you for finding the mangoes that I lost when I killed my wife. Okay. A while back, okay. I lost a few apples on the side of the road while driving at night. Okay, let's go do that. Apparently, because they didn't have enough money to waste, Square Enix put yeah. a cup noodles quest into the game. The characters actively rant about the deliciousness of cup noodles. Yeah, this they fucking guy. And they're delicious to boot. If you take something already delicious like cup the thing when he is actually a macho man jack what do you get? a jock so He's completely obsessed with Captain Nettles. Oh my god. Disguise train. We travel between locations, interspersed between vast stretches of absolute nothingness. Nothing. This game already looks great. Yeah. Our gang rides to the city of Lestalo <laughs> in search of Noctis' ibuprofen. Fortunately, yeah. this well-dressed and not suspicious individual has all of yeah. the answers that Totally no sus. Totally no sus. Arden. Oh, my little love. Nursery rhymes curious things. What? <laughs> he is willing to lead us to Dwayne The Rock Johnson's medicine cabinet, and we accept yeah. it without hesitation. So after entering his white van with free My Chemical Romance CDs, we arrive at Dwayne <laughs> The Rock Skyrocketing Rock Slide Rocket Sprocket. Uh, I came here to clear a headache. <laughs> Nothing so makes us a good bit of God's God. power and defeat the Empire for good. He has to beat half of them up, kind of like the Empire does, but he's the correct family of inbred designer dogs. So yeah. it's different. A prolonged and painful fight against Dwayne's masturbation arm ensues, really Oof. highlighting this game's focus on spectacle at the expense of my sanity. But eventually, we scratch yeah. his arm into respecting us, and he McFucking kills everyone in a 90 mile radius. Uh, hello, bitches. I'm with the Empire now. 
and uh, furthermore, I've stolen your car. Get the yeah. inside, or this volcano will turn your penis inside out. You know, it's very nice that Arden gave us a lift up twice. I wonder if we'll <laughs> see more of him. Next on the list of gods to impress is Gandalf, who just kind of yeah. went in the woods that we've already and explored. I think they ran out of time for this one, because the only thing standing between us and him is one cave that we just keep yeah. going through. And maybe romance a snake or two. Oh man, guys, she's real cute. I don't know what to say. Bada no! Bada we've got his approval. That took like 20 minutes. This game is more rushed than a fucking Chinese high-rise. From yes. the moment going forward, the game has effectively destroyed all possible tension. By having Noctis be explicitly assisted by fucking Zeus, Final Fantasy 15 becomes a game about the gods. There goes Ramu. How's this for a mechanic? The god's help is summoned randomly. Oh man, Noctis, you're fighting like 90 demons down there? You can handle that. Good luck. Okay. Don't worry, Noctis. I will be the one to save you from these three very threatening giraffes. Yeah, and kills everything. You can thank me later. You know, we've gotten pretty used to this game. The vast open world, the fruit truck incident, or having a car. We'll throw that shit in yeah. the trash. This game turns from an open world adventure into a linear corridor halfway through. Although, that's yeah. the open world a lot of credit. I don't that's think I'm going to miss this guy. From this what? point onward, we are eternally trapped in the cut content zone. The devs made a nearly perfect recreation of Venice with no side quests in it. Look at the detail of yeah. this town. The beautiful architecture. The unique art. I was there for 10 minutes. Once. Yeah. It's actually impressive that they're willing to waste this much time. Even the NPCs in this town are just fucking off. The bartender for the only restaurant in the city talks like he wants to fucking eat you. Oh, what the fuck do you oh. mean, Eldritch Abomination, Satoshi? Get back to the office right now and animate another 100 backflips. <laughs> So after owning God One and God Nude, it's up to Noctis and the Boctis to head to the Imperial Capital and retrieve yeah. that K-pop crystal. That is until Arden shows up and he derails the entire fucking plot. Sup, bitch. No. Oh. <laughs> Arden isn't just with the Empire; he is the fucking Empire. Oh, and also he uh, can teleport. Is literally immortal. Has stabbed my wife and also is yeah. going to kill the fucking son. All that we have to do to stop him is enter the city of Pyongyang and endure his weaponless cock and ball torture dungeon. This man has gone. Yeah. Helping us to literally trying to gas me. Of course, doing so to trap Noctis in a pocket dimension for ten years and fight the sun. That way, he can kill the gods and oh. the true king while he's a consenting adult. If this all sounds confusing or stupid, don't worry. I don't have time to explain. You're totally free to watch the yeah. five episode anime series, animated episode art and prologue. All four. Yeah. Oh my god. The full King's Glaive Final Fantasy 15 movie. If you want the full context for what's happening, that's a yeah. So many things. You, Square Enix. In fact. They retroactively updated the game to contain scenes from the movie because it just yeah. didn't make enough sense. Now it's a <laughs> to fight Arden in the future. This is, of course, the part where the developers realized they had too many bosses since this game yeah. was planned as well as the Great Leap Forward. So they make us fight like five in a row. That is some pacing. Not to mention, they're all yeah. very difficult. One might say uh, absolutely unplayable. As it turns yeah. out, valuing your own time by not playing the shitty fetch quests gives your experience <laughs> vastly below what is expected. We aren't even strong enough to fight the big snake i could go back and do some quests if i was fucking stupid no we're going Ew. to do something much worse yeah how you make so try again what you want to do is travel back in time to venice and endure the five minutes of gondola riding you cannot skip it. We do this yeah, you can... the cannibal restaurant yes, and no. on some photorealistic no. lasagna. This step is non-negotiable. Next, what you're going to want to do is time travel further in the past to Nevada. Watch out for this guy. He might try to steal the platinum ship. Go and initiate the quest where you're supposed to fight the huge fucking Blastoise for two hours. Yeah. You try to summon God, but he is powerless against the big turtle. Congratulations, you've unleashed unstoppable death into this world. And now it's up yeah. to you to destroy it. This is the Ring of the Lucio. You get it after visiting the two-hour ball-twisting dungeon and can be used to compress enemies out of existence. Yeah. For no discernible reason, it works Dude. on the turtle, instantaneously killing him via compression into a stellar object. That is a lot of XP. Now, XP is applied only when you sleep and can be enhanced by sleeping in a hotel, which is multiplied by three if you eat lasagna. It's time to yeah. travel back to the future into an alternate fucking timeline where we've gone Garfield, and by editing the past in Nevada, we have altered the future. Congratulations, you Jeez. now have the XP equivalent of three giant turtles. The game is over. Why even play anymore? All that's <laughs> left is to strut back to the Arden Gauntlet and let the game play itself. Just take caution yeah. in time traveling that you do not get absorbed into the eternally falling hellscape. Now we can break <laughs> through Arden's big cocoon using the help of each god individually. Yeah. Hi, Hulk. 
Although they apparently can't just kill him because that would free me from this nightmare. Your wife's oh. ghost also shows up, and I'm gonna be honest, I forgot that Luna Freya was in the game because she's a walking plot device. The game yeah. has no autonomous women in it. Very based of you, Japan. As for the ending of the game, it's everything that the developers had left over. Big dog, and fuck it, he's in the game now. Break the yeah. man. Yeah, do it. Just put it in the geometry. Hey, Noctis, I need your help to retrieve 10 metal after I killed my wife. I thought I was done with this. And of course, <laughs> yeah. Noctis' grandparents. With You're never done. Music. So by the time we've reached what is essentially the Joker, I can say with confidence that I am fucking done. It's very fitting that Arden's only motivation as a villain is to personally screw with me until the final battle, because that's exactly what the game has accomplished. The game yeah. says it out loud. <laughs> Spite's all that's kept him going. Really, you're gonna go with just Spite. Killing Arden yeah. is pretty much a formality at this point. Only made more expedient when God gets off his ass and actually helps me by ruining the final boss fight. What a cool mechanic. Yeah. Much like the rest of the game, I don't know what's happening and yet i'm winning now as i watch noctis painfully throw his body onto the various today's subject of unconventional warfare tactics the game <laughs> oh. to be so ridiculous and dramatic that noctis mcfucking kills himself so that he can double yeah Arden in the afterlife but really that's just part of the charm final fantasy yeah you have to kill yourself to kill just how ridiculous it's being. on the other the side doesn't care for even a second how much money it throws away how over the top the set pieces are or just how fucked up the pacing is is kind yeah. of endearing the game has altered genres hour by hour it has both too much money and not enough money it's both an open world game and a string of set pieces and the combat is great or it's terrible one could say it depends on your outlook there's this moment near the end of the it's game it's terrible you can hit your own friends. allies it's taking pictures of you throughout the game and i was going to choose the one that exemplified my playthrough i didn't think that it meant much until the final cutscene where noctis shows a picture of the massive turtle to his wife <laughs> looking fondly back at all the broken experiences he went through and i burst out laughing for several minutes nothing will ever yeah. describe to you what the game is about more than that this product is not worth any of your money it will never be <laughs> but holy shit, maybe it was worth my time. Yeah. I would like to thank the Illuminati for funding this channel with their reptilian dark money to prevent my starvation. If you would like to contribute to the channel and ensure the reign of our lizard overlords, you can head to my Patreon to learn more. Thank you all oh. for watching and waiting. And of course, you have nine days to live. To be honest, to be honest, the problem I have with Final Fantasy 15 it's, it's it's really simple. It's, it's it's actually really really simple. Not the cup noodles. The cup noodles I understand promotional values, etc., etc. You know things like that. So yes, you know the problem I have with FF uh, Final Fantasy 15 is not that. The problem I have is more and more like, oh yeah, you know, uh, it's sure to make. To notice that they actually changed a lot of things a halfway because you know Nemura was like oh yeah I want this and this and this and then Square Enix goes like no 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 let's give it to this guy who has the you know the fucking plot point on always sacrificing the hero at the end of the fucking adventure you know that kind of guy and we were like me as a fan of Final Fantasy a complete fan of Final Fantasy. I'm completely a fan of Final Fantasy. You can say I played almost every single Fanta Final Fantasy game. I almost died. Because, you know, it's like you try to have so many things that, but the only true good ending is only in a novel of Final Fantasy 15 that was shown many times later because they cancelled uh, episode of Luna Freya. Which was going to change the future. Because episode Ignis was really good to actually change, you know, facts of the future. And it's actually, like, important. But then it doesn't matter because it doesn't match in the storyline. Or yet you create an alternative timeline. Episode uh, Gladiolus is, oh, yeah, let me fight Gilgamesh. Yeah, that's it. I never have a sweet scar. Hey, <laughs> hey. Um, episode Arden is just told you that the Red Evil is not him, it's just Bahamut. Yeah, Bahamut is the bad guy. It's not Arden. Arden was just the best thing. And episode uh, Pronto is just... Oh, yeah, Pronto has ties with the Empire. That's all. <laughs> That's all you have, you know. Pronto. Pronto, Pronto is not... It's is, is, is not summer. Yes, just that. Okay, that's why. Okay, that's all you have to know about Pronto. It has no implications in the story. It's just, oh yeah, I have moral dilemma of myself. 
Just like Gladiolis. I have moral dilemma with myself. Let's do something crazy. Yeah, let's do that. That happens. So, there was going to be an episode, uh, Luna Freya. Luna, you know, Luna, Luna Freya looks not fluid. I think it was her name. And uh, the girl, the girl who, who appears 10 times dies and appears as a ghost and then appears as your wife in the afterlife. That, that girl, okay? That, that girl. And she actually had an episode planned, but they cancelled because episode Arden is much better. Episode Arden is actually much better than the actual game. <laughs> <laughs> because actually you actually get to hang the idea of Arden is a fucking badass he deserves more he was fucking betrayed he was fucking betrayed like it's not his fault he, you, you get to his idea he was fucking betrayed by his own brother you get the idea so he's going to kill every single descendant of, of his own brother that's actually really nice and you know um there's uh, many things you know they made a video game for phones that is like in Carnam, you know those or you have to pay to win uh construct your own city and fight a lot of cities but you know the more you pay and the more you invest in the game the more things you have and more probably you win and you know you have to make kills and fight in teams and you can bully people etc etc yeah you know those things hehe <laughs> that game actually i hated it there's so many things. If you see the actual nowadays uh, ads of Final Fantasy... Eh. Eh. Do you see the actual apps? You know, the Anime Empire. The ones of that. It's fucking crazily bad. Because the, the Anime Empire and War of Eos are fucking stupid. To be honest, they even did um, Final Fantasy XV, the Windows Edition, they had a Half-Life pack and everything. And then you have Pocket Edition, which is, oh yeah, instead of buying for the full game, you have to pay for each episode, and, well, you know, for each arc of the story, and that's all you have to do. And it's, in the end, not worth it, because it's like playing uh, a shitty game, with shitty graphics. For that you just play... Uh, uh, not think the food has like good quality in Pocket Edition. It's like, oh yeah, you, you, it exists. It exists. That's the only thing I need. It actually exists. That's the only fact. And it's not worth it. Because they made then the Royal Edition, which is like, oh yeah, you know every single thing we have here, like... Uh, Every single DLC, yeah, we're going to put it together in the Royal Edition. It's not even worth it, because it's better to watch, just watch them. It's just content to make the game larger than it is, because people can't can't actually make a full game, and they have to add hundreds of episodes to actually fill the gaps that they forgot to do. Or make Ignis the best boy, because Ignis is best boy. That's all I have to say. Ignis is best boy. Prumjo is a chocobo. Gladiolus exists. Uh, Noctis is a thing. Luna. Who is Luna? <laughs> and Ardin. Ardin is best boy. Ardin is. Uh, Ardin, you, you must love him in the end. Because he's much a villain than we think. He's just annoying. And he deserves some love. Uh, when you learn his story, of course. When you don't know it, it's just, oh yeah, this guy is fucking annoying. Go to hell. <laughs> uh, and 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 that and that of 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 this is 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 nothing. It's just a ring. Okay, it doesn't exist. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for coming to my channel. Please like, subscribe. You know those things. You know that happens. You know, I'm in voice, and thank you for the 500 subs. I'm so happy. Thanks, everyone. Uh, if you want me to react to another video, please tell me in the comments. I will always listen to my viewers and subscribers. I always like to, to know your opinions, your ideas. If you have any problems, like, for example, oh, yeah, it's just a bit too loud, or it's a bit too loud, or you can fix this, I'm going to fix it. If you tell me how, I can fix it, because I am fucking stupid. I'm a newbie and an amateur 
VTuber, I'm completely independent, so I don't have anyone to assist me. I am living my own life as a YouTuber completely alone. <laughs> so yeah, 25 minutes of video. <laughs> me as playing in Final Fantasy 15. So you know how much drama I have inside of this. Yeah, I have drama. I, I, I can't believe this game. I hope 16 comes better. Please, Yoshi P. Please. Uh